Hi everybody, it's Dandruff with your bonus cartridge for Wednesday, September 26, 2018. I almost forgot the date there for a second, I almost did. So, uh, usually I, fi I, I film the show and then right away I am uh, doing the bonus show because I just take the, I, t I have, I, I keep that same momentum going and I, I, I carry that over to, alright, alright, let's do the bonus show, let's talk about the things uh, either from the show or video games that I played and uh, today, today I did, was not able to do that because just as I was about to film the bonus show, the camera started to overheat and I was, nothing else I could do, so I was like, well, I... I, uh, I folded up the backdrop, and then I started editing the main show, so uh, I'm a little bit down on energy, but that's okay. We'll get it back up there. So, everybody, we uh, I've, been, I've been playing Elite Dangerous, as you probably have known already, and I thought maybe uh, we'll, talk to, we'll, we'll take the uh, bonus cartridge to talk about the boring crap I do in video games, space trucking. Yay! I need some water before I continue, though. Just a second. Ah. Taking a drink of water. That's how you eat up YouTube minutes and um, get paid for it. I don't know. Anyway, uh, I'm just making crap up. Uh, so yesterday, I decided... Uh, well, if you guys couldn't all tell, I was able to get the show up on time. Yay! Hooray, Dandruff. You were able to do your show on time. That That's a commemoration somehow. No, it's not. But um, I, I was able to play some Elite Dangerous. Uh, the wife went to bed. The kid was asleep, too. So I had the house to myself. And I, I, I had, you know... Play with my joystick. Not what you... No, 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 no. Get, get your mind out of the gutter. My X-52 flight control system. HOTAS, okay? No, 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 no. Anyway, um... I really like I really like that controller, by the way. So, uh, I have... I have taken on the, uh, task of mining. Yay! Mining in Elite Dangerous. Uh... So... There's a couple of different ships that I have been uh, eyeballing over the over the last couple of uh, months, weeks, maybe. I think weeks. I've been, I think I've been playing this actually for about two months, pretty pretty uh, hardcore, or at least a month, maybe a month and a half. I don't know. I don't know. I don't care. Anyway, um, been playing it and I've been tr trying out a couple of different ships. I was actually in a Cobra for the longest time. Then I was able to upgrade to an Asp Explorer. Um, from there. I've just kind of been in the ASP the whole time, and I've just been making money by carting people around, by basically being a, a taxi cab or being a cruise liner, and uh, you get fi fictional people in your um, in your ship, you take them out to wherever you want to go, you take them to this place, you take them to that place, you take them to maybe a third or a fourth place, you bring them home, and they pay you money. Well, yesterday I was out, and I was uh, flying around, uh, making five million credits uh there was there was these I, f I think it was eight businessmen oh no no it wasn't businessmen i remember now it was it was eight criminals but they weren't criminals they were just wanted they weren't criminals it, it didn't say that they were criminal in the mission board it just said that they were wanted Sh and actually i didn't know that they were wanted until i got them in my cabin there was like passengers wanted i checked the thing they're not criminals what the hell? Well, at least they're not demanding. Demanding, or actually, at least they're not secretive. Secretive people, I'm not taking on any secretive people anymore because if they, if your ship gets scanned, that lowers their um, happiness. And if their happiness goes down, you lose money, and there's a potential that they'll just bail and just say, screw it, nope, I don't want to pay you anymore, I don't want any part of this anymore, and you waste a bunch of time. So... Not doing that anymore, not unless I figure out a more surefire way to do that. I have, by, via suggestion of somebody in the comment section, I have taken on um, demanding people, okay? Demanding people will make requests while you're flying them around, but so far, I have taken on three demanding trips, and none of them have wanted anything. Okay, one of a, a separate one wanted something. I forget what it was, but I didn't fulfill it. I missed out on like 10,000 credits, which isn't a lot, and it didn't lower their happiness at all. So that's what I'm going to be doing to make major money from now on. So yesterday, I bought a Type 7 transporter. And, um,. If you don't know what that is, let's get a picture up here, Dandruff. Let's just ha let's put some editing in. This is a Type 7 transport, and um, it's very expensive. Uh, I've got like 42 million credits dumped into mine. I think I've got like 15 million credits dumped into the ASP. I don't know. I think I... 
Actually, I think I've got more than that. I think I've got about 30 million credits dumped into the ASP and about 42 million credits dumped into the Type 7. And working from the Type 7 up to the Type 9, then a Type 10. Aren't these uh, names wonderful? They're na they're either named after crate like they they either have no their names have no bearing in anything like crate or I don't know what's a uh, they're either snakes their type and, and a number or it uh, the crate or the uh, or uh, the Corvette okay crate Corvette snakes. <laughs> so, uh, there's just a lot of snake names like Sidewinder, Anaconda, Viper, Adder, um... Oh, there's one called the Fur de Lance. That's, uh, that's a ship. Anyway, uh, yeah, so yeah, I, 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 uh, I've been playing this. Uh, I, a friend of mine, um, Epic Skunk, shout out to Epic Skunk, um... Uh, I found out he was playing, he got me into mining, he showed me what you need to do. It's really interesting, because you don't just, like, it's not like mining in any other game I've, I've played. You actually have to, you have to zap the rock with a mining laser, and then you have to use these little robots to go out and pick up the things. You could pick it up manually, but that's a pain in the butt. Uh, you use these little robots called limpets to go out and pick up the stuff, and they bring it to your cargo scoop, and, uh... It, you don't actually get one per thing. You actually have to build up the mineral and then process it, and then you get a ton of whatever the mineral was. And it's worth your various amounts. You take it to a uh, space station, and you sell it. So far, I've made not a lot of money. But the, the key is, is that you be persistent, you do it for a long time, and it's fairly passive in terms of how, uh, what you have to do to make money. Basically, all you do is stare at a rock, you pay for limpets, which aren't very expensive, and you make a ton of money. And in, in, the, the profit margin is actually fairly high. It's about a 95 or more percent profit margin when you take into consideration the amount of time that you spend doing it. You don't really have to spend that much time doing it. With, with traveling people around, you kind of have to spend a lot of time doing that. And then... Um, uh, to rank up your Federation ranks, which is the next thing I'm going to start doing once I have enough money to buy the stupid ship that I want... Um, you have to complete missions, ra rank up your reputation, then do Navy missions. Once you do a Navy mission, you'll actually change rank and rank up. Yay, Elite Dangerous. It has taken me almost four years to figure this fucking game out. That's how complicated it is. And now I think I could finally recommend it, but only to those of you who like to grind. But it's a great game and you see pretty things. The things that you see, you will see a hundred times. It's great, isn't it? <laughs> I actually do like it. It's a really fun game. It's got some of the best dogfighting in any game that I have ever played. So if you like dogfighting, you like you like stars, you like space, you like exploring, it's a game you can actually explore in um, and see crazy cool stuff. And, you know, Minecraft is a game that I, I feel like you can actually go around exploring in new territories that nobody's ever been before. Elite Dangerous is the same way. I've seen an article from a year ago that says that um, 0.003% of the galaxy has been discovered. So say they doubled that and it was 0 0.006. And there's no way it's that much. That's six thousandths of the universe that has been discovered in Elite Dangerous. That's crazy. That's a big game, and I'm going to go play more of it once I'm done editing this show. Social media links are over here, everybody. Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, Patreon. Patreon, the best one, because you can go help support the channel. Click up here to watch today's full episode. Click down here to watch yesterday's ep episode. Episode. Both of those links are in the description down below. Click over here to subscribe to my wonderful, wonderful channel. Isn't it great that the end show isn't edited? Bye.